I'm looking forward to our session with Ajax and Gio. We haven't had a duo in a long time and I have not drawn Ajax and Gio as a duo before. So I am using Ryan and Jefferson who posed us for us a couple years ago as the tutorial for how to draw two men together. So the first thing is to look at them as one composition. And yes, it is two bodies, which you do have to draw, but it's not two completely separate bodies. Looking at the composition, they're roughly the same height, but due to Orion's head position, his chin is a little bit lower than Jefferson. Looking down at their beautiful legs, Orion is a dancer, so his legs are pretty bulked up as is his uh, buttocks. Ryan has a very athletic build as well. I mean, uh, Jefferson. First, I measured uh, this overall. I kind of took from this shoulder blade to this uh, shoulder as kind of the unit of measure for the com overall composition. And then it turns out to be about two high. So one, two gives you the overall proportion. And how you draw that is I started with this line, the first frame at the top and the frame at the bottom, but we still don't really know how wide to draw that composition. And we get that from this two to one. So that one measure is the width of the body. And so you can take that half, take your pencil and move it out to the top and do your tick marks and that kind of forms the overall frame from this shoulder to this buttocks. Notice that some of his, uh, Jefferson's arm is sticking out and it turns out some of their hair is also sticking out. You can also see, relatively speaking, uh, Ryan is kind of at an angle. So his he's not as wide and Jefferson is kind of more frontal facing us and so he is kind of broader across here. So you can measure where do these lines line up. In the overall composition, this neckline, Jefferson, is kind of the midpoint of this composition and it also lines up with his cock. Another uh, thing to notice is their hips. It kind of looks like Ryan's hip legs are longer and his hips are higher. But in, in fact, you know, this is his hip bone and here is Jefferson's hip bone. So they're actually fairly similar. But so you can see where these lines on Ryan are and see where they reflect on Jefferson's right side. The other things to note are this shape um, is helpful in setting the distance between the two. And uh, there are also these other negative shapes uh, between the legs. And then there's this negative shape between his right side and the left side of his arm. It's kind of um, pretty linear and it's there's a bunch of arcs in there. The beautiful shape of Ryan's back and it comes into a pretty sharp angle at his buttocks. All three hands that are visible, Jefferson's uh, right hand and left hand, I, I drew them initially as squared off mittens. This one I did go in and separate the fingers because these negative spaces are very large and distinct. For the sake of time, I left Ryan's right hand in the shape of a squared off mitten. I'm going to go into the actual drawing demo without further explanation so you can see how I developed this drawing.
So please join us for Ajanx and Geo this Thursday evening if you like.